and uh, he comes out and he immediately throws a fit. Uh, he just starts yelling at me, you cut down my trees. All righty, we got this little nice little property to do today. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty tall. Gonna have to do a lot of weed eating before we can even start cutting. So, and that is Cujo. Alright guys, uh, as you can see, this property was not fun at all. Uh, that stuff was amazingly high. So we had to do a lot of weed eating first uh, before we can even mow. And let me tell you how this property came about. I had a friend of mine who uh, called me up and was like, Hey, I got a buddy that uh, kind of needs some help. He's in a bad spot. And uh, he's an older gentleman. He's on a fixed income. He's trying to sell his house and he just needs his property cleaned up a little bit. So I go out here and I look at it. All right, guys. So let me let me tell you this story real quick. We, I, we get done mowing. We get done weed eating. And I go up to the house and I knock on the door and I tell him we're done. And he goes, hey, I want you to do one more thing. Uh, see those trees out in the yard? I want you to cut them down. And I was like, sir, are you, are you sure you want me to cut those trees down? Those are some pretty nice trees. And he says, yeah, yeah, go ahead. And uh, I asked him two more times and I pointed out there and I said, are you sure you want me to cut those trees down? The ones right there, those three right there in the, in your front yard. And he says, yes. So he goes back inside. And so I go get my stuff and I cut them down. It takes me 10, 15 minutes. No big deal. And uh, I go knock on the door, tell him we're done. And uh, he comes out and he immediately throws a fit. Uh, he just starts yelling at me, you cut down my trees. And, uh, and I, I was trying to be professional as I could. And I told him, I said, well, sir, I'm sorry, but there seems to be some confusion here. But, uh, you know, I asked you three times if those trees out there you want me to cut down. And you said yes. And uh, he goes, oh, I wasn't talking about those. And I was like, well, sir, what was you talking about? And come to find out, he was talking about some weeds that were growing up by a tree right by right by his house that we were like two feet from. And here I am pointing out into the middle of the yard and he's saying yes. So, uh, but he was pointing at these little bitty weeds by the tree or he, that's what he was talking about. He didn't point anywhere, but he was talking about these weeds by a tree we were two feet from and he was calling the little weeds trees. And, and I'll be honest with you, part of it is my fault. Part of it's his fault. Uh, I should have went out there or I should have made sure. I thought it was a little odd that he wanted me to do that. So, uh, you know, that was my fault there. But anyway, what I told him, and he's just yelling and screaming at me, guys. And, and I was doing everything I could to kind of keep my cool. And I started to get pretty, pretty ticked off. And uh, finally... Oh, and also, <laughs> I forgot about this part. Is he goes, he goes. Well, since you cut them down, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to dig out the stumps now. And I looked at him. I said, "Sir, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm, I'm done here." That's when I just looked at him and I said, "You know what? Keep your money. You just got a lot of, a lot of work for free. I am. I just want to get out of here. I don't want to even see this property no more. I am done." This was a job that I put a lot of wear and tear on my, my equipment. So at the end of the day, guys, you cannot be afraid to say no. Okay, that's that's one of my biggest problems is I you know I want to help people out and I want to do good and I want to be a uh, I want to be a, a good person, 